All right, I've uh, decided to put horses at the base of my sculpture, and it's going to be a memory that he's had of maybe a raid or something. I'm going to put three riders on the three horses. And what I did was I uh, went online and found images of three horses that uh, I thought would be interesting for the uh, base. And then I thought I'd do them about the size that I would want them on the base. Now, this is the uh, horse, the main horse, the front horse. And I've made each horse smaller because each one will be a little further away from the other horses. And I'm going to arrange them in an interesting manner. But I'm going to be using my 3D pen for the first time. Uh, to uh, work out the uh, the figures and then do a flat kind of a relief on the base. Time to play with some clay. be using my 3d pen all right I'll be right back when I get a little further along I've done this before on photo paper and uh, it works you can detach it from the paper once it cools I'm doing this primarily to make it an armature like okay now I'm gonna separate it from the uh, picture I think that turned out pretty darn good Interesting. Wow. And it gives me a, 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 a tooth to put my clay on. As you can see, it allows me to press it onto the base, and then I've got some place to put the clay on. I don't know if this is going to work. It just the idea came to me while I was sleeping <laughs> this morning. And I think you can see on the uh, from the photograph, on this uh, photographic paper, it's shiny. Uh, it does ruin the photograph, but I'm not worried about that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the uh, chest of the uh, gentleman. I'm using my small maquette here as my muscle guide. I must say though, I, talking about the horses, I'm not certain that that's something I need to add, but I just thought I'd try it out. I had the idea. I thought it wouldn't hurt to try it. I had my light, light a little too close to the clay, so it's a little almost melted. It's not so hot I can't handle it, but it's just a little too soft right now.
this is the enjoyable part for me is doing the anatomy. also eats up clay. <laughs> I don't know if this comes across well on camera, but I'm trying to figure out how to break up the line where the shoulder ends and the uh, arm ends. And I'm thinking by showing the strands of muscle ending unevenly might give it a more interesting look. It looks great in person. I don't know if it comes across very well in the video. I'll continue that uh, next time. Mm -hmm. It's getting late and I need to uh, get some more clay softened up for tomorrow. So I'm going to have to call it quits for today. I'm happy with what I've achieved today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use the horses after all. There's just so much more I can do without having to overdo it. Sometimes an idea is good, but keep it simple stupid is the uh, thing that keeps coming in my mind and uh, I think that's the best policy to just keep it simple don't over complicate it let the uh, sculpture speak for itself without having to throw a bunch of bells and whistles into it all right, everybody. It's been an interesting day. I like the way the chest has worked out. I like this effect where the muscles continue on and then just disappear. It's sort of like a portrait done in pencil where the person doesn't quite finish out the drawing. But in this case, it just doesn't quite finish out the uh, muscle. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.